so they're in the early stages of the COVID pandemic. Sure, sure, like all of you, a lot of you, maybe your lives changed, and um, maybe for the better, for the worse. But mine did, and um, it started with this as my daily routine to try and get better, try and lose some weight, do a couple changes in my life. And here I um, started riding folding fat tire bikes. Seemed like that was the craze going into COVID. Fat tire electric bikes. And I think I jumped on the uh, electric bandwagon with their electric XP. And a few others along the way for possibly um, something else. But it all started here. And it all started with this trek of about either it's 13 or 15 miles back to the old, my old location. And here's where I. tried to come up with ideas that could benefit me and others. And so it allowed me to reach out to a demographic that I wasn't necessarily used to. I was recording videos just to kind of help others out within a community. A little upgrades here and there about bikes and whatnot. And I really didn't know much. Besides, I wanted to go fast and I wanted to get a workout, I guess. So here I am is here I am today. I think we should say a, a two-year. Hiatus from YouTube, and um, it started right here. I'd get a bike, and I'd explain why that bike was kick kick butt. It was a kick butt bike for me and uh, why I liked it so much. Um, and then maybe I convinced people that it was a great deal and uh, they made their decisions to help their families and themselves and get electric bikes for the holidays. And if I helped them, that was a good thing for me. It made me feel good. Uh, it turns out I like helping people. I hope, I hope my audio comes through because it's a little bit windy up here. But I really enjoyed um, messing with new things and learning new things. Um, I don't normally talk uh, to public. So this YouTube video is going to probably be a little different for me and maybe a little bit odd in the very beginning, but I think who's, who isn't going to have a little bit of issue in the very beginning. But this place means a lot to me. This little trek in uh, Lake Paris. This is um, the upper portion of the dam. As you come in, you'll see it from you know, most of Paris. 
but it goes around the lake and uh, it's a good workout for somebody that really hasn't done this ever. And I guess when you do it every day, maybe twice a day, most, most cases, and change yourself, your eating habits, um, you too can possibly help yourself get better and get better shape. Uh, mine was a medical scare. And uh, I really don't want to dive into any of that right now because um, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. Uh, maybe channel. But I want to do something that I enjoy doing. I want to do something that I enjoy putting my time towards. And uh, I really don't want to waste it for somebody else. So hopefully this this journey of mine, this adventure, you guys can pick up a few things that can help you learn. Maybe you like, maybe you watch. I have, I have a couple friends in lots of industries that might excite a lot of people. I myself have built lots of race cars. I'm really big into technology. And I spent probably the last 20 years as a IT consultant, network administrator uh, of information technologies. And um, I started that ever since I was younger. Um, and now, again, with COVID and the way things are, right? I'm not too sure where that video may have left off, but um, I should probably revisit that and say, ever since I started on fat tire folding bikes from the electric XP to pass select Saunders, I went to a Luna bike, a Luna X series X1. And I rode that pretty heavily for a year. And um, I'm going to do I'm going to do some sort of review year in review for the Dang Fu E09 frame and uh, which is a Luna X1 and give my thoughts under the direction I plan on going next. But right here you have a Commonsol Meta HT. It's a hardtail, uh, pretty slack hardtail with a 38 uh, Fox in the front. Nuke proof accessories. It's fun. It's a neat bike. It's very light for me. And um, it's kind of a good thing to bring out here and see what I'm able to do. Um, it's been a while since I've been here, but I owe this place my life because I think it allowed me to get better. Um, so with that said, hopefully there's going to be some more content that you might enjoy for items that I get myself into, whether it be um, bike builds, electronics builds, um, Econoline, van life, 4x4 stuff, mountain biking, any, anything. It's going to be my adventure and it's going to be documented, I guess, and uh, let's see if it, it becomes something that I can do. I'm not really too sure, but I'm going to try. But, uh, first things first is to get what I need to say out and get used to speaking out loud uh, for a camera because I'm not normally doing that but anyway guys I really don't want to say guys either it's, it sounds a little weird I don't, I don't want to be ah. anyway wish me luck and uh, thank you very much that for those that actually enjoyed what I had up 
And uh, thank you to any future people that might be wanting to come along on the adventures that I do. So I guess that's it. Until the next video where I'm possibly building bikes or doing something else that's wild going downhill maybe. I, I like I like mountain biking downhill. It's been pretty fun lately. Uh, still pretty beginner, pretty amateur at it, but we'll see my progression. I watch a lot of the locals here on uh, YouTube as well. Um, who knows, I might bump into them as well. And uh, anyway, that's it.